Hello, my name is Blake, and this speech is titled, Why Every Single Student Should Start Listening to Aesop Rock Immediately. Have you ever heard someone say, that's a $5 word before, or a similar iteration of that in reference to someone using a large or an obscure word? Well, here I have a list of what I consider $5 words and a list of slightly more common $2 words. And I mean that literally. The first person who can give me a definition of a word from either list, I will give you the corresponding cash amount. So take a couple seconds to look at these lists and see if you can come up with something that you recognize. For reference, these are all words that I selected off of a single Aesop Rock album. So just take a second or two here. Does anyone so far have any words that they recognize or want to hazard a guess at? Yeah. Is it a klaxon, a type of car horn? Klaxon, we have an electric horn or similar loud warning device. Boom, five dollars well earned. Nice old man. Anyone have a two dollar one? All right, I wanna move on then, because I can't go broke today. Um, Many of you are probably unfamiliar with the rapper Aesop Rock. He's often confused with and overshadowed by the much more popular ASAP Rocky, but they're two completely different individuals with two completely different vocabularies, and vocabulary is a little, a little bit of what I'm here to talk with you about today. For most of us, this is our vocabulary, right? It's modest, it's reliable, it'll get us where we need to go. But this is Aesop Rock's vocabulary. <laughs> It is monstrous. Not only will it get him where he needs to go, it'll obliterate anything in its path and turn heads along the way. So, while some of you may have recognized maybe a couple of the words from this list, I'm willing to guess that most of you probably didn't know half these words even existed. But you know who could have taught you? My boy, Aesop Rock. I believe that there's a lot to be learned from this man's music, so today I'm here to convince you that Aesop Rock is a must-listen for anybody looking to improve their vocabulary. I personally have been listening to Aesop Rock for the last 15 plus years and it's helped me immensely in articulating myself. So today, we're going to look at why you should want to increase your vocabulary in the first place. We're going to look at why you should do that by listening to Aesop Rock and why learning vocabulary through the music of rapper Aesop Rock as opposed to other methods is beneficial. So all of us here are students, right? Except of course for John. And as students, we stand to gain a lot by expanding our vocabulary. In school, we're often required to use a more for formal and less conversational tone when writing or giving a presentation, and in order to do that, you need a strong vocabulary. A research study from Middle Tennessee State University found that there was a significant link between a student's vocabulary knowledge and their GPA. Some of you might be saying, so what, I'm doing just fine in school with my current vocabulary. Well, Johnson O'Connor of Human Le Engineering Laboratories was able to isolate and measure the characteristic of vocabulary, and he found that a person's vocabulary level was the single best predictor of occupational success. So even when you're done with school, a, a growing vocabulary can still continue to benefit you. The average adult has the capacity to learn about one new word per day on average until they hit middle age, at which point that ability drops significantly. So while you're still young, take advantage of that time and expedite the process by listening to Aesop Rock. The Economist wrote about the results of data gathered by testyourvocab.com, and it was revealed that most English-speaking adults have about 20,000 to 35,000 words that they're able to recognize, but that's out of 171,000 words in the dictionary. So most of us only know about a fifth of the words in our own language. And to learn new language, why not learn from the best? Enter Aesop Rock. All right, so in... 2019, Matt Daniels conducted an analysis of the vocabulary sizes in hip hop by looking at their first 35,000 lyrics and determining how many unique, non-repeating words they used. Guys like Drake and DMX, roughly 3,000 words. Eminem was right in the middle with about 4,500, but leading the pack with a whopping 7,392 unique words used was Aesop Rock. Now that may not sound like a lot given the fact that we just learned that the average adult knows 30,000-ish words, but consider this. On a regular day, we use to communicate about 7,000 words with the people around us. But of those 7,000 words, only 800 of those words are unique, non-repeated individual words. So I'm not just standing up here 
trying, oh, I forgot a slide. Uh, I'm not just standing up here trying to tell you that, oh, I think you should listen to this rapper because he's really cool because he uses some big words. What I'm telling you is that on paper, Aesop Rock outranks every single person in his peer category by a vast extent. And of course, music is subjective. Everyone's gonna have a different answer to who's the greatest rapper of all time. But there's no debate that Aesop Rock is the most verbose rapper that the genre has ever seen. Some of you may or may not know who Lupe Fiasco is. What matters is that you know he's a much more notorious rapper than Aesop Rock. And last year, he went on Instagram Live to give Aesop Rock praise for over 45 minutes. And I wanted to share this quote real quick because even though it's a little long, I think it sums up what a unique listening and learning experience Aesop Rock can be. So Lupe said of Aesop, once you get comfortable with the barrage of vocabulary, you can sit with it and just get stuck on a few songs because the songs are so dense. You have to get used to the beats. You have to get used to the flow. First, you've got to figure out what it is he just said. So, sapuku. You're like, oh, sapuku? What the f is that? Now you've got to go look up sapuku, then come back to the song like, okay, I got it, because the words are so exotic and unique. If you don't even know what the word is, you'll never get the punchline of the rap. That's how he uses vocabulary. It's not just a bunch of words. It's very tactical and very intentional. It genuinely begs you to ask, what are you talking about? You'll stop the tape and be like, Asa, what are you talking about? His lyrical brush strokes will lead you to figure out what he's talking about, but it took you 20 listens, and that's one song. So, by exposing yourself to the master, you can gain the ability to command language more effectively, which can help you personally and academically. But there are a bunch of ways of learning new vocabulary, right? You could do it through reading, you could do it through using flashcards, you could do it by listening to a more scholarly podcast if you wanted to. So why do it through ASOP? Well, there was a study published in the scientific journal called Memory, which found that people who were taught new words through music were much likely to recall and retain those words in the future than people who learned those same new words in spoken form. So listening to music, ASOP rock, uh, can be a great way to enhance your vocabulary. And even if rap music isn't necessarily your thing, I like to think there's a little something for everyone. Throughout his 20 plus year career, he's released an indie folk album with Kimya Dawson. He has released an electronic album with the producer Tobacco of Black Moth Super Rainbow. And on his album Skeleton, the beats are largely rock inspired and feature live drums and guitars. Now his lyrics can be a little dense and abstract at times, but they cover a wide array of topics, everything from mental health to social justice to reclusive depression to, I mean, the guy has a whole song about cat adoption. So it can be very easy to connect on a personal level, which can make vocabulary building more engaging and enjoyable. So to sum it up, I just want to say that listening to Aesop Rock can be a great way to expand your vocabulary and deepen your understanding of language, which can help you as a student and as a professional. Through his intricate and unique word choices, Aesop Rock inspires an, ex an exploration and effective communication, which can help because he's using more vo vo engaging vocabulary. So if you're looking to broaden your linguistic horizons, I highly suggest that on your way to your next class or on your way home, pull up your phone, dial up Spotify, dial up YouTube, and look for Aesop Rock. Try digesting a song or two. You might even learn a new $5 word while you're at it.